We're living in Revelation chapter 3. The two churches are Philadelphia and Laodicea. The Philadelphia church is the true church. It is, uh, historically, it's called the missionary church, and it speaks of the harvest and evangelism. At the same time, though, in Revelation 3, there is the church at Laodicea, which is the church that says, I am rich and increased in goods and needed nothing. But the Lord says, no, you're naked and blind and destitute, and you need to buy me gold tried in the fire. And it's a church that is antichrist, really. But it's a church that has all the trappings. They have the steeple. They use the name of Jesus. They carry a Bible. Some of them even speak in tongues. But what they're presenting is Laodicean gospel and not Philadelphia gospel. And I want you, this, what I'm about to show you, it's about seven or eight minutes long, but it was just a video that was just held at one of the largest charismatic churches in America in the Midwest, in a yearly conference that I, I didn't know. they I, I've heard of the church, but I didn't know anything that they had conferences or whatever, but they do. And I want you to see what goes on. Now, I want to tell you, this is not a youth conference. And you're going to, when it starts, you're going to think this is a youth conference, but it's not. It's not a youth conference. This was a conference for pastors and workers. <clears throat> it covered all age groups, but it was not a conference for young people, even though it will look like it, it wasn't. But this was not in a neutral building. What, what you're going to see actually took place in the sanctuary of the church. And it's going to take about seven or eight minutes to watch, but I want you to see it. I want you to see it. Let's go to it right now, please. It's been a long day. We've just been out of our groove for a while. we got to get back in that groove, all right? So let's loosen up a little bit tonight. Just let it go. I want to lead you in just a little bit of dancing. Is that all right? I just want to dance a little bit. So you know what we're going to do? Four steps this way, four steps this way, all right? On my cue. Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome. You look so good. Alright, watch this. I want you to add a clap on the fourth one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, keep that going. You look so good. You look so good. Alright, see if you can do this. Repeat after me. Na 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 na. Shine, baby. 
It's your time to shine. Here we go. Activate the dance cam. You see that? That's yours. That's your zone. On my cue. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Three. Let's go. Is that church? Is that the kind of church you would want to go to? This is what uh, the Bible says. This will be my response to what I just saw, what I just showed you, will be the response of the Lord. In Amos chapter 5, beginning in verse 21, this is the Lord speaking to Israel. I hate, I despise your feast days. I'm reading out of Amos chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take you away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your vials, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. That's what the Lord says about that. The Lord says, I hate I despise, take away from me the noise of your song. 